So the first anti-pattern I want to talk about is the magic pixie dust anti-pattern. And that occurs when an organization believes that microservices are this panacea, just a little sprinkle of microservices and all of your development problems will be fixed. Um, perhaps they, they read an article I wrote at one point, I'm not sure. Um, and on the one hand, if you've written, you know, if your application has actually outgrown its monolithic architecture and, it's, and it is bloated and it is heavyweight, then refactoring to a microservice architecture makes a lot of sense. And that's because microservices give you the testability and deployability that you need in order to, to do DevOps, which is sort of a superset of continuous delivery and continuous deployment. And it also enables autonomous to, to enables you to restructure your engineering organization as a set of small autonomous, you know, so-called two pizza teams. The idea is you have a loosely coupled architecture with with loosely coupled teams, and this really is like the primary benefit of using microservices. The problem you have is organizations usually have a whole lot of other problems. You know, they're actual sort of deployment pipeline is typically slow. It's often siloed with developers having to throw the code over the wall to QA, who will then test it manually, who will then give it to ops, who will manually deploy it. The applications themselves are big balls of mud often. Usually the code is quite smelly. Um, you know, I've said to clients, no, you cannot have methods that are 700 lines long. Um, names change to so high, high, make them anonymous. Um, and in some cases, you know, there's duplicate code bases, right? So you've got five copies of the same application and the code's just slightly divergent because at the time it just seemed like a good idea. And the problem you have is if you adopt microservices with those problems, you're likely to be disappointed. You know, it's not going to address those problems and it could very well make them worse, right? So. <clears throat> You know, so it's just sort of this problem. So, you know, in order, when, when, you know, you have software delivery problems, you really want to take a critical look at why you're having, it, having issues. And, you know, if you've got manual processes, you need to automate, you need to embrace DevOps. If your code smells, you need to teach the developers how to write clean code and enforce it with, with static code analyzers in the deployment pipeline. If you've got duplicate code bases, then you need to combine them and design the appropriate extension points. And then if your applications are big balls of mud, then sure, then they need to be re-architected -arch possibly to the microservice architecture. So there's a whole host of solutions that you have to employ, and microservices just solve very specific problems. They're not a cure-all. <clears throat> 